Hey folks, Keith with 93 Lumber coming back at you with another beer. This is Rochefort 10. Trapeze Rochefort 10. Uh, produced by Abby N. D. de St. Remy. I may have completely butchered that. But uh, yeah, it's 11.3% alcohol by volume. Uh, Rochefort, Belgium. Uh, best before... It's 12 10 2025, so that's the best of uh, so that's October 12th, 2025. It is March 2022. And where did I buy this? It's got to be more than a three year. So maybe it's a five year. So maybe this is from 2020. I don't know. Don't know. Uh, I bought it a little bit ago. I've had it for a little bit. Like not a, not a crazy amount of time, but maybe, maybe within the last six months. Oh yeah, it would have had to been because I didn't have this when we moved here. So yeah, I, I bought this within the last few months. I haven't used one of these glasses in a while and it looks like they got a little gross in the, in the cabinet or maybe I just didn't wash them well enough because you know, I don't use them that often. So, <laughs> but I thought I would break it out for I'll leave a little bit of the bottle. So yeah, that is a nice, uh, what do I call that? It's clear, uh, but it is, looks clear. Oh, it's cause of the, having a, having a, a glass with with the uh, designs and shit on there. Not always the best. Yeah, it's like a reddish brown color. <laughs> Maybe like a... Uh, never mind. But that is two fingers of khaki head. It looks like... Um, on the top, there's some bigger bubbles, but there's a lot of like tiny bubbles, but around the outside, they're more medium sized. So, so yeah, Let's see what it smells like. There's a cool kind of like, uh, and forgive me for not knowing uh, like desserty things because I'm not a huge dessert person, but there is a thing that is like it reminds me of like banana bread or um, like banana bread without the banana. There's like a nut bread, but like a sweet nut bread. A little bit of dark fruits. I don't know if this is the best class for this. I just. I just haven't used it in a while and I thought it'd be, thought it'd be fun. Yeah. Uh, dates and, uh, I haven't, I haven't had a beer like this in a little bit, I think. So I am not up on my, <clears throat> on my vocabulary. I have a little bit of water over here because I've been getting a little congested. I don't know what's wrong with me. Yeah, a little bit of toffee uh, and 
but probably a little bit of caramel as well. I'm just say that. Because I'm not getting a great nose on this, and I think it's because of the glass, maybe, but... Yeah, it smells sweet. It smells like... I don't know. Yeah, there's like a sweet, like it's it's very sweet and it's very bready and and there's a nutty character to it, and then a little bit of the uh, dates and um, prunes, the other one, maybe, um, and then the toffee. It's more toffee than caramel, but you like to me toffee and caramel. They're kind of the same thing because I, I don't know the difference really. Yeah. So anyway, let's, I'm going to drink it now. Cheers. There is a little bit of an alcohol thing there. This is probably a little too cold as well because on the bottle, Something that I didn't read was 53 to 57 degrees Fahrenheit, which is colder than that. Also, it's not the right glass. It's got a little, it's got a little glass thingy on there. And this is not that glass. I actually have a glass like that, but I think, I think that glass is worse than, um, than this one for, uh, like getting a nose and stuff. Um, yeah. Yeah, there's a bit of heat on it. But that leads into there's a there's a really nice sweetness. Like it's sweet, but it's it, but it's like, like it's a little sweeter than like things that I would um, that I would enjoy. But just the way it comes off is like really nice. Um, I don't know if it's because it it if because it's like the alcohol heat leading into that. I don't know if that has anything to do with it, but. <clears throat> Yeah, there's a little bit of a, I feel like there's a little bit of that nut bread thing in there, but it's definitely not as big as I was getting in the nose. If I was getting that in the nose, I don't know if like different things were being misconstrued because of this class or, or something, but uh, yeah, a little bit of that nut bread thing but mostly like caramel or toffee to toffee i think more toffee than caramel um and uh dark the dark fruit thing a little bit of cherries in here as well i don't know if i would say that the nose Yeah, maybe. Yeah, cherries. Cherries in the nose as well. And I don't know why I could not remember cherries. And I was staying away from saying figs in the nose, but I would definitely say figs in the taste. It's actually very figgy. I haven't had a fucking fig in a really long time. I want a fucking fig. Sorry, I got I got a little excited there for a little bit. <laughs> um, yeah, there is like a 
yeah, there's also like a little bit of like a brown sugar or a burnt sugar kind of thing, caramelized sugar, which is caramel basically. Um, <clears throat> but it's more, it's, it's less caramel and more like burnt sugar, brown sugar kind of thing. This is really good. Um, uh, um, I know, I know a lot of these beers like this age well, so I don't know if there's like a rough age for this, for this, um, like as a sweet spot. What is that? There's like a little, there's a defect in the glass. But, um, as it warms up, that alcohol thing goes, is going away. It's still there. It's still, I, I'm still getting a, a bit of alcohol on this, but. I had this in the beer fridge, so. My beer fridge is not, uh, <clears throat> I have to get a little uh, thermometer thing so I, I know what the uh, temperature is in there, but I've not done that yet. But it's not as cold as the regular refrigerator. Yeah, it's really good. Yeah, I would say that like brown burnt sugar thing is like the biggest thing. And then there's a little bit of that nutty bread thing. And then there's some of that uh, dark fruit character throughout. I don't know if I've had this beer. Uh, I want to say, I don't know if I've had 10. I know I've had one of the other ones. And I don't remember which one because it was years ago. But yeah, I bought this because I was, because I knew I hadn't had it. And I've been trying to like get into like actual, like classic beers, traditional beers. <clears throat> and just trying to, uh, you know. Do more things. Taste more things. So yeah. Yeah. I feel like with every sip, I get a, something a little bit different. Like one sip is a little more of that brown sugar, burnt sugar kind of thing. Another sip is a little more fruity. Yeah. I am enjoying this. So yeah. Sometimes, sometimes I feel a little bit of pressure when I'm drinking beers like this or reviewing beers like this because I feel like I am, uh, there are not, I mean, I'm not saying that a lot of people watch my channel. I'm just saying like people who do watch my channel, like a beer like this probably had, and you're probably judging me pretty hard for the things that I'm saying, or you're saying that I'm doing a good job. I don't know. But, uh. It's beer. I like this beer. I'm drinking this beer. And uh, and yeah. So I hope you're all doing well. Take care of yourself. Take care of each other. You can like this video if you'd like to. Subscribe to the channel if you have not already. You can follow me on Instagram at 93Lumber. That's spelled out 93Lumber. And we will see you in the next one. Cheers. <laughs>